What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Shantai Birio Show. And you guys want success? You guys, you small business owners out there, you're looking for success. Well, guess what? Today's episode is all about just that. The principles, more specifically, the seven principles for successful business. And obviously, there are a ton of principles out there. Uh, that uh, really ultimately bring success into a business. However, we today are going to just break down what I feel is the seven most common and most overlooked principles that truly give you the biggest bang for your buck. Pretty much think of it this way. Imagine if there was some like proven recipe. I just made a cheesecake the other night for my birthday. First time ever making a cheesecake, got to admit, came out phenomenal because I followed an amazing recipe that was very well crafted, very well structured, very uh, self-explanatory, uh, easy to follow. And, and I was thinking about that. Imagine if business was that way. Imagine if there was this like magical recipe that we could just follow. And if we followed it to the T, did all the right ingredients at the right measurements at the right times, the process, um, you know, th this person was really big on making sure that the uh, air bubbles were out and that it didn't crack like crazy, even though I screwed that up because I tried to deviate from it. Perfect example, deviated from a proven plan, didn't get the exact same results. But imagine that. And as I sat down and thought about it and started to put this episode together, it was like, you know what? There really is. If we just follow these kind of proven principles, in a sense, the principles that we know are being utilized by uh, a lot of the most successful people out there, then why can't we have the exact same results? So before we dive into it, if you guys are new to the Sean Tiberio show and yeah, are just finding this for the very first time, or maybe it's just a random episode that you're grabbing a hold of, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're listening to it out there on the podcast worlds, be sure to also subscribe to it on your favorite podcast player that you might be listening to this too. And leave us a rating and review on the podcast platforms. We would absolutely love it. It really helps us get the message out even more. Those on YouTube, if you could hit the little like button and drop a comment in the comment section, just letting us know that you're here. Hit the subscribe, turn on the bell. You'll never miss another episode again. I can promise you that. Uh, and for those of you that like to just read and get the kind of the cliff notes, so to say, of this, after even after you watch this video, you just want something uh, to kind of follow along with or whatever, head over to topresultsconsulting.com to our blog section, and you will see the blog that goes and is associated to this week's episode uh, right here. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's get talking about the seven proven principles to business success, business success. And really, it's these principles are there for you to overcome any type of holdbacks, setbacks, limitations, whatever the case is, that's kind of keeping you from getting to the level of your act. Because at the end of the day, why do you even have a business? Why did you get into business? Why did you even start it? It probably wasn't be married to it, be a prisoner of it, uh, be chained down to it, uh, become so ingrained into it that you have no life. You know, most of us entrepreneurs, we got into being an entrepreneur or got into this idea of owning our own business because we didn't want to be answering to anybody. We didn't want to work for anybody. We wanted to make our own choices, our own decisions, and have the flexibility. Yet, when we don't do these typical seven principles right here, we get the complete opposite of that. So what are the seven principles? And again, I'm going to reiterate, there are a ton of business principles for success out there. There are so many different things that people can do to see success. We're hitting on the seven most impactful ones. The ones that, of all the ones out there, there's there's a lot that you could do and there's a lot that you could overlook or just not be as specific on and as uh, kind of consistent with and still see success. As long as you're doing these seven, 
routinely. As long as these seven become something that is so ingrained into your business, these will ultimately give you the results that you want. Of course, you start adding even more success principles to this, and you're going to see even better results. Success is going to happen faster. Your business is going to grow to a level that maybe right now is just simply a, a wish and a hope and a dream and something that you don't think could ever really happen. But by adding those to this mix, it's like throwing fuel on a fire, right? These seven are going to get our fire started. These fire are going to get that, that fire going so that we can start to see what we want. So principle number one, principle number one is it starts with you. So the principle is work on yourself to better understand others. Now, I talk about this a lot. To be a successful business owner, to successfully sell and market and, and grow your business, you must be able to step into the brain, the mind, the thought process of your perspective client of your prospects out there. It's the single most beneficial trait a business owner can have is to be able to literally think like their client. Now, how do we get better at that? Start with you are a client yourself. You are a client of somebody else's business, their product or service. So better understand what makes you make decisions. What makes you choose why you would do business with a certain thing or why you buy certain products that you buy? What are the emotional triggers, the emotional hot buttons? You see, everybody makes a decision based on emotion. They just justify it on logic. So understanding you, the way that you think, the way that your emotions play into it, are going to start to give you that skill set to better think like your clientele. To stop for a second and just step back and look at your own self and say, hey, if I was in the market, if I wanted what I sell, or if I needed, because that's there's two totally different things there. And we'll be doing an episode around that here really soon. The difference between wants and needs, because at the end of the day, everybody, right, a good vast majority of people out there could need your product or service. Doesn't mean they want it. The want is the emotion. And that's what we got to stop back and think. And we work on ourselves first to understand them, to understand our prospects, so that we can find the emotional drivers in someone like our own self. And then I can take that and put that into with my prospect and go from there. So principle number two, learn principle successes. Learn the principles of successful business. Again, there are a ton and we're going through about seven of the major ones, but I want to add two more in under this one um, that these, these are very crucial early, early on. If, and when we've dealt with businesses that don't do these early enough in their, their business growth process, we start to see issues immediately. And then you wonder why businesses, uh, as I've done in other episodes, uh, where we talked about businesses that don't, that don't even survive the first five years and how it's like a third of all businesses that get started actually make it to the five-year mark. And it's because that you're in business to make a profit. Let's just start there, right? So understanding these success principles, you got to understand one of those is you're there to make a profit. That is what you as a business owner are there to do. Make a profit, not turnover. Turnover is a big uh, problem in small businesses. It's basically like just enough in to go out for the month, barely enough to even pay yourself as a business owner. And then you got to go get more in the next month. And you're just, you're just turning over paycheck to paycheck month to month, right? Business moment to business moment. And you wonder why you can't catch to that for, uh, financial freedom section or that piece where I thought I was going to be in business and I'd be able to actually make money. And here I am, the business owner broke, right? You've got to start thinking like I'm here to make a profit which means you got to be willing to make the profit. You can't be cutting costs and doing all these other things. Um, another major principle of success in here is cash flow. Cash flow. Remember this, cash flow is king. Cash flow. What cash flow means is that money is in your account when you need it. So an easy way to look at this and, and a way to start to grow your business and, and start to implement this success principle right here is if you... If you're doing business for a particular customer or client, if that requires payment out, if that requires a cost to you, whether that's outsourced services, uh, employee costs, programs, 
you know, we here at Top Results Consulting, you know, we develop a lot of websites and online platforms and a lot of marketing strategies and whatnot for our clients. There's out cost to that. When we bring a new client on, we've got costs going out. So how do we measure our cash flow? It's by making sure that we've got the payment up front. Some sort of on our bigger projects, it's there's a deposit on our on our foundation levels, right? We're we're typically getting that that payment in before the process starts. That's cash flow. Because now I've got the cash to go pay for the services or the products or the the systems or whatever the costs are it is for me as the business owner to provide whatever that product or service is for the person that is doing business with me. So too many businesses I see this they they perform then ask for payment or they do a terrible job of making sure that invoices are being paid. And I get it. Early in the business we're trying to do it all. But if you just focus on those two things right there, understanding you're here to make a profit and cash flow, money in your account before business happens, money in your account before things are working and going, payments, deposits, whatever the case is, that is going to be key to ensuring that you can keep in business and keep going. So principle number three, right? Three, we're going to hit seven. We're on number three, set goals and have a plan to achieve them. Listen, I'm going to get super real with you here for a second. Until you actually set a goal and and really truly set it and understand why you are doing that, how you're going to get there doesn't even freaking matter. You see too many businesses they they don't really truly set a goal. They don't really know why they want to go to the the level that they want or why they're trying to achieve or what their mission or their plan what the goal is for this month, this quarter, this year, uh, three years from now, five years from now, 12 years from now. They have no idea where they want to take this. And then they start getting frustrated because they can't figure out how to grow their business. But at the end of the day, it's because they don't even know why they want to do it. They don't even know why they want what they want, what their goal is. They, they have any, They have no clue of that. And they're worrying too much about the why. You see, once you know the why, now it becomes super easy. It's just a matter of lining up some strategies, some very typical business growth strategies. And I personally know of about 300 different strategies that at Top Results Consulting that we work with our clients to implement once we dial in that why and that direction and that goal. And business is so easy to grow when you've got an arsenal of about 300 tactics and strategies to play with. You see, the average business owner can barely think of about 12 different strategies to grow their business. And it's simply because they're just not clear enough up front on why and what it is that they want to achieve, that the hows don't show themselves as easy. Dial that in, 300 strategies in a blink of an eye could help you get to the next level. Principle number four, this one... Hmm. This one really starts to get me, and that is turn your staff into a team. Turn your staff into a team. Listen, as business owners, we cannot do it all. And the the thought of nobody can do it better than us is the number one culprit to business failure. So what do I mean by turn your staff into a team? Well, sit back and ask yourself this, and I pretty much know the answer to it. Matter of fact, you can even comment this down in the comment sections or, or, or reach out even on social media to us and let us know this one. When's the last time you ran a team meeting? When's the last time that you ran a consistent weekly team meeting or a team training for your business? When's the last time you spent some time one-on-one with your staff, with your members, with your team members, and worked with them directly, teaching them, training them, showing them how to do everything it is that you do. You see, the goal as a business owner is not to do it all. It's to see how quick we can make ourselves obsolete, meaning I don't need to do it anymore. And if my team, aka now what most people think is their staff, Right? If that staff can become a team, know all the roles, know how to do everything, be very trained. Consistently, we're running trainings. Consistently, we're running weekly meetings. Consistently, you're sitting down and working 
with them, you slowly can start to pull yourself away. And isn't that the goal of being in business anyway? To not be so ingrained into it, to have freedom, to be able to do some of the things that we've wanted to do with our lives that we couldn't do tied up in a nine to five job. You see, if you're out there doing it all because you think you can only do it as good as you and that you can only do it as good as you want and nobody else can match that quality, then did you, are you building yourself a business or are you building yourself a freaking nine to five, another job for yourself? So turn your team or turn your staff, I should say, into a team. Create the World Series winning team out of your business. And remember this. Team stands for training everyone achieves more. Training everyone achieves more. So that's principle four. How about principle five? Build foundations for growth. Listen, no different than a house, right? No different if we're out there building a home and uh, the, the house is only as strong as the foundation that we put it on. I don't care how beautiful you make it. I don't care how much uh, extra uh, aspects to a house, how much extra strength and security you add to the framing, to the roof line, uh, all these extra, you know, hurricane straps or whatever the case is and blah, blah, blah. If the foundation is weak, that house is not staying very long. A big enough storm, going to knock it over. So in business, it's the same way. When we're getting started in business, our growth is determined by how well we put a foundation in place for that business. And same thing for existing businesses. To get them to grow, we got to sometimes go back and work on the foundation. If I can't, if I didn't build the foundation of this house to sustain and uh, putting it an addition on or a second story, let's say, onto the home, then I got to go do, do some work on that foundation before I can add that. Well, same thing in a business. Sometimes to grow, your foundation's good for up to where you're at. But if you want to get any bigger, you want to do anything more, you want to advance, you want to to expand, you may need to look at some of the foundational aspects that are in there. Now, there are two key critical factors early enough in business. And really, any business that wants to go anywhere needs to be doing these two things to start having a solid foundation. The first one is documented systems documented systems. And I hear you get beat up on this one like crazy. You got to have systems in your business. You got to have systems in your business. It's not just about having them. It's about having documented systems. I don't care if you, the business owner, the head, the founder, the CEO, whatever the case, the lead person of your business, you're you're a solo entrepreneur. It's just you right now, no employees. And you're like, I don't really need to doc bull. I don't care that you know how to do everything every day. and, And you've got a systematic approach to the way that you do it. Can somebody step in and do it just like you? Can you even train them on that without trying to think about how, what it is, and put it up? That's why you need documented systems. The other one, and this one is like, you're going to hear this one come back. It's going to come back into play here in a second on on our uh, final principle, but tracking everything, KPIs, key performance indicators, metrics of your business. There are so many small businesses out there right now that are only failing simply because they have no idea what's going on in their business from a number standpoint. They they don't track anything. They have no idea income, outcome. They got no idea with uh, uh, products, how long that takes, how much cost goes into it, what's the profit margins of those things, what are the, the net costs around that stuff. And this is something that Roger, my business partner, and I at Top Results Consulting, that we 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 have a process that's truly documented. We know from the time somebody comes in on one of our uh, packages, how long it, it should take, you know, what's our goal? What do we want? And then we track every single one of those development processes to get them from a starting day to the final day where everything's live and ready to roll and what that, that window should look like. And we're able to identify hiccups along the road when they don't fall into that, that category. That's what I mean by documenting the system and tracking every aspect of it, the key performance indicators. Each department of your business has some very strategic numbers that you should be tracking and measuring to see whether you're growing, whether you're declining, whether you're stagnant. If you're out there wondering what are some of these numbers, 
then stay tuned. Another reason to subscribe to the Sean Tiberio show, because we have some episodes coming up and we've done some talks before and done some trainings uh, on it. It's why you want to be ingrained. Follow us on uh, social media at Sean Tiberio at top results consulting, pay attention to our website, top results, consulting.com. Uh, heck jump over and join our free Facebook group. Uh, that's all about just growing your business. We're, we're constantly bringing these different topics up and training around them and bringing education around it for you guys. Because at the end of the day, these simple principles right here, and as we dive into principle number six, implementing effective sales and marketing. Listen, if you're not documenting your systems and processes, as principle five talked about, and tracking your metrics of your business, how are you ever going to execute on principle number six? And that is executing on effective marketing and sales. And I hear this one all the time. We're doing sales, Sean. We're doing marketing in our business. But I ask this question all the time. How effective is it? And I get the, the blank stare. I get the deer in the headlights look. And, and rightfully so, because they're not tracking anything. So how would they even know? How would they even know how effective... It is. How would they even know how effective it is if they don't even know what effective marketing and sales truly looks like? You see, I can make a statement right now. I can pretty much guarantee, and, I have, and I'll be willing to show it to anybody who would like to jump on a complimentary call and go through this, that everything you know about marketing and selling your business is wrong. Everything that you've ever been taught, everything that you've ever learned around it is wrong. And in, a, in under 30 minutes, I'll show you exactly why. Matter of fact, I'll put the link in the show notes for anybody that wants to book one of those calls and jump on and see why your marketing isn't working. And I'll tell you this right now, it's not because you don't know what, what, what to do. It's simply because you're just doing a handful of things incorrectly. And by simply making some small, minor adjustments and tweaks, watch out. You're going to see some incredible change in results. And it'll, it'll take me less than 30 minutes to show that to you. So we'll put that link down in the show notes as well. And that's really principle six. Do it. Learn. Invest. Pay somebody if you need to, to better understand it. Because people uh, in business, what, what they're not taking any run, uh, responsibility at all for their sales and marketing. And as a result, they start realizing they're not growing. They're not going anywhere. Because they think they're doing it, but they're just not taking the responsibility to make it better and to find the hiccups in it. It has to be effective. Marketing and selling just to do it is not good enough. It has to be effective in your approach, in your strategic attempt, in your strategic um, game plan around your marketing and sales side of your business. And uh, if anybody that just likes to read instead of booking a call, I'll just throw a link down there because we got a, a phenomenal 42-page uh, book that pretty much breaks all of this down for you guys uh, and show you exactly how making these slate adjustments will get you ten to $50,000 in additional revenue in your business just by making some minor, and I'm talking like 10% tweaks, 10% tweaks. We're not talking about redoing everything, 10% a word here and there the way that you attack something, the way your offer is structured. Just by changing those things, bam, 10, 20, 30, 50, 80, $100,000 increase consistently with those businesses that we've worked with and shown and got them on track to do this the right way and be effective with it. And that leads right into principle number seven, manage your business. You see, successful business owners, they know how to manage the business. They're not just making random decisions. What I mean by managing your business is making decisions based on numbers, making decisions based on data, not just emotional attempts or emotional um, jumps into a decision. Data in a business, just as we talked about, the KPIs, the metrics, the systematics, documentation of these things, running a biz, managing your business based on numbers, managing your business in the way of running consistent team meetings every single week, team trainings, working with your individuals, your staff, your team members, your associates every single week, 
that's managing your business and that's going to allow you to make adjustments quickly. Given the time that we're in right now, COVID-19, pandemic, running all over the place, smashing small businesses to the ground. Those that are still surviving right now, those that are able to still make business happen at this given moment are the ones that had the numbers in their business already to be able to make adjustments and say, hey, we can still do this. We just got to tweak and change. Or, hey, we were getting this over here. and What if we did this? And they're able to track and see and be able to decide, yes, this makes sense. This is a good innovation for us and our business right now. That's managing your business. Or are you the business that's caught with your pants at your ankles right now? Wondering, what the heck do I even do? I'm used to getting X number of business a week, or I'm used to bringing in X number of dollars a month. I haven't seen anything come in this month. I'm just kind of sitting here wondering what I'm going to... And I can't tell you how many of those business owners that we talk to. And it's just simply because they're not managing their business. And it goes back to some of these earlier principles. So again, thank you guys for tuning in today to this episode of the Sean Tiberio Show. You want to get deeper into these seven principles? You want to talk about it more? Book one of those calls. Let's take a look at it. Let's find 10, 30, 50, 80, $100,000 in under 30 to 45 minutes in your business just by tweaking and getting more effective on your sales and marketing and really figuring out how do you implement these principles into your business consistently. And I promise you, you start doing that, business will start to grow. And as always, as I said earlier, be sure to subscribe, rate, review. We look forward to seeing you guys on an upcoming episode. If you want these seven principles in writing, head over to topresultsconsulting.com. Check out our blog. Get yourself a copy of those. And until next time, here's to your success.